everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you very much for watching. Today's video is going to be an updated shoe collection video. I have filmed a couple of these before, so I'll link those in the description box and I'm basically just going to pick up where I left off with the last videos and show you any new additions since I filmed those. So I'm going to be focusing on high-end shoes today, that is what the majority of my collection is, but showing you all different styles like boots, sandals, flats, heels, all that jazz so there is lots to get through so I'm about to just go behind a curtain that's over here which you can't see I don't think um, and behind there is where I keep my shoes and clothes it's not desperately glamorous at all um, but yeah I'm going to go there go through everything show you them on give you as much information as possible and yeah let's get going Okay, so this is my not entirely glamorous wardrobe space. That being said, I'm very thankful for this little extra section in our bedroom because I don't know what I would do without it. These are my storage for shoes. I've got three lots of them. They're just garage storage. I got them for Amazon. Um, they really don't look great, but I went with them because they were the cheapest option and I didn't want to spend loads on something that was just going to be hidden behind a curtain anyway. And then on this side, you can't really see it that well, it's just a clothing rail, I've taken loads of stuff off it because normally I'm like pressed up against the side in here. So I've got a little bit more room, but yeah, this definitely does the job and is a little bit of a lifesaver really. So onto the shoes, I'm not going to go in any particular order, just going to make my way through them all. And I'm going to start with this pair, these are from Alexander Wang, I bought these on the net porter sale, I think I got them for around £350, um, I loved them when they were full price and just waited out a little bit. When I was in New York, actually in Barney's, I saw them in there, so I wonder if they're available again now. They're one of my favourite pairs of heels or heeled boots that I own, definitely. They're really comfortable, really easy to walk in. They're like the sock boot style, only this is really, really skinny. Um, yeah, to say how high the heel is, they're kind of easy to walk in. Like, I've done a full day in these before and I was in pain at the end of the day. But they're definitely worth it and, yeah, like, they're great for going out for dinner or something. It's not like they cripple you when you try to walk in them. Next up are these boots from Dear Francis. Um, these are called the Spirit Boots. Now, Dear Francis very, very kindly gifted me these, and they are my favourite boots by far. I love them so much. Um, Dear Francis is doing so well at them. I'm so, so excited for her. Like Kendall Jenner and Gigi Hadid and Bella Hadid have been wearing these boots, and it's just like mega celebs, and it's so exciting. They come in black, and that's what like the, most of the celebs have been wearing them in black. I have them in port, and I like I love the port because you get the black um, panel here and the black heel, a little bit of extra detailing. These are the perfect heel height for everyday wear like, and for evening wear as well. Well not evening, evening, you know like going out for dinner or something. If you've got to walk about a bit because you can walk all day in these, they're so comfortable and they look great with everything. Next we have Acne. I got these in Stockholm so I paid full price for them but Acne is so much cheaper in Stockholm than it is here, like hundreds of pounds different. So from memory I think these are between four and five hundred pounds. They are these black leather peep toe boots with the bamboo heel which is so cool. They're like some of the coolest pairs of shoes I own but in all honesty I really don't wear them very often. I wore them at Fashion Week in September and these gave me the worst blister I have ever, ever had. I had to bandage my feet up afterwards. They were such a mess. Like, I've not really worn them since then because of how, just how much they hurt my feet. Um, sometimes I wear them to like pop out for dinner or something like that if I know I'm not going to walk very much. But I've sort of been a little bit put off them from that experience. So next we have some Gucci boots. As you're going to see as I go through these, that I am partial to a little bit of a bargain. And these are one of them. I got these for £180, which is such a result for some Gucci boots. I got them in um, the Harvey Nichols in Leeds. And they were in the sale at like £240 or £50, but they had a scuff on the side, so I got them for a little bit cheaper. That has been the only downside to these boots and this gorgeous colour leather that they have scuffed quite badly. Um, but the colour is just absolutely amazing. Harry says that they're like elephants, which is quite cute, I guess. Um, yeah, the colour also makes them not the most versatile, but I've still worn them quite a lot, and I think that I'll wear these more going into spring than perhaps some of the black pairs. And the heel height, despite looking super high, is really easy to walk in, actually, and they're really comfortable. Okay, on to the next ones. These were another sale purchase. These are by Chloe. I got these off Matches Fashion last summer. So I'm really going to be stretching my memory to think how much I paid for these, but probably in between 200, 250 and £300, I think. Um, they are these mules with a stacked wooden heel and gold buckles on them. 
I love these so much. They're like my perfect summer shoes. Really comfortable, really like kind of easy to walk in as well. They're not the easiest because your foot does move around a bit, but with that nice chunky heel, it's always much easier. They look great with everything. I like how they're kind of clumpy, but also not super heavy. So they're sort of a perfect balance for summer. So yeah, these are definitely some of my summer favorites. I'm really looking forward to being able to wear them again. Next, we have a recent purchase that you've also seen in a recent video, and they are these Gucci pumps. I've worn them loads and loads since I got them. Um, in the video, I was like torn up between keeping these in a Chloe pair, and I'm so glad I kept these. They just look great with everything, despite the fact they're kind of gaudy, and I don't want to say a statement because they're not, but they're not typically my style of shoe, but they work with every single outfit that I put on, basically. I could wear these every single day. Yeah, they're really, really comfortable, and they're just, they're just so cool. I'm so glad I kept these, so thank you for your comments on that video, actually, because you guys helped me make my mind up, too. So next are these Jean Vito Rossi pumps, another sale bargain. I had a voucher when I got these, but only like a £30 voucher. And I got them in the Harvey Nichols sale on a day where they also had an extra £10 off, and then the voucher. So I ended up spending £75 on these shoes, which is like seriously good. I think so without the voucher, they would have been just over £100, which is still so good for such a classic shoe as well. Like these styles are the hardest to find in the sales most of the time because they just don't go in the sale. They're just some nude suede pumps. They're kind of not the easiest to walk in. I wouldn't go for these for a long distance amount of walking. But to say how high the heel is, like compared to Louboutin shoes of this style, these are way comfier. Like I find Louboutin's almost impossible to walk in, really. Um, and Jan Vito Rossi, generally, I find their heels to be pleasantly comfortable. And this is such a classic shoe. Like I was just so excited when I got them for so cheap. So next we have a very statement heel. Um, I was gifted these through Zalando, they're by Tibby, and they are these black two strap sandals with a shearling heel and across the toe. They are definitely a love-hate thing. I personally love them. They are so, so cool. Like they just look great with, again, similar to the Gucci ones, you can just put them on with jeans and a t-shirt and it makes it look way more exciting. Um, they're kind of very tight over the toe. That's the only downside to them. I need to wear them a little bit more to get them to break in a little bit because they do really dig in over the toes but other than that they're kind of easy to walk in. If you watch my previous shoe collection video you'll see that I used to be way more into heels and like stiletto heels similar to the Jan Vito Rossi ones but now I'm just becoming more practical about things and I don't really buy shoes that I know I'm really going to struggle to walk in therefore not wear which is why we've got a lot of block heels here because I just find them so much easier. Next is some of my all-time favourite shoes. I bought these again in the sale in a shop in Rome and I think I got them for about £250. These are by Jan Vito Rossi again. They also come in like a lower heel version and I want them so badly for summer because I have worn these so much. I have them in the chocolate brown suede. They look great with everything. They have these ties that go up your legs. Now these do come down like if you want to tie them all the way up your leg you're going to be stopping and retying them every 10 minutes. They do come undone and slide down. Um, so if I'm walking in them for a long time, which, by the way, I can do in these shoes, super easy to walk in, super comfortable. Um, you need to tie them like close together around your ankle so it doesn't fall down because they do come undone, which is the only downside to them, really, and it makes them a little bit more impractical. But they're so comfortable. Like I would buy these again in a different colour because they're that comfortable and I've worn them that much. I love these so much. Next up is my most recent um, shoe purchase. I got these in New York. They were in my New York haul video. They're these Tibby sandals. Um, I've worn them a few more times since I filmed that last video. And they are just so comfortable, so easy to walk in. They look great with everything. I love how minimal they are with just the small little detailing of their... Um, thin gold plate on the inside of the heel. They're just like perfect simple summer sandals. Like I feel like these have ticked everything I wanted from a summer heel um, for this year and I'm just so chuffed with them. Next is another purchase from last summer. Oh, we've lost a pair. Okay. <laughs> these are by C by Chloe. Um, I got these on Netta Porter. They're these flat form shoes, definitely an ugly kind of a shoe. Um, they have this gold wedge and then they're black suede and tie up the leg. Unlike the Jan Vito Rossi ones, these you can tie up the leg and they will stay up there. I don't know if it's because it's like a thin string rather than a thick um, band of suede, which is what the Jan Vitos are like. But yeah, these are just 
kind of cool and also really hideous. I like to wear them with dresses when I'm on holiday if you're just wearing a really simple black sundress or something to make things look a little bit more exciting and also with um, just jeans for an England and things. They're good, you know, sandals if you were going out for some drinks in the day in the summer and you wanted to be a little bit dressed up but not be struggling walking. Next is another sale find. Again, I got these on Net-A-Porter. I think I ended up paying like £75 for them. They're by Sigerson Morrison. Um, I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. They are, I love these so much, like these are really chic shoes and whenever I wear these someone always compliments me on them. They have this stacked heel that's almost a wedge and then three straps, the top one has a big gold buckle on it which isn't functional because it has a zip up the back. I think it's the colours of them that make them, make them look so chic and just really, just really nice, like they're kind of glam I think, I always feel a little bit glam when I'm wearing them. Um, again, because it's almost a wedge, they're quite easy to walk in and they're really comfortable and were definitely, like, I'd have paid more than £75 for them. I think I nearly bought them before the last markdowns and then just held out um, and obviously it was worthwhile because I got them for even more of a bargain. Right, we're moving on to the last ones now and these are all more flats, like day-to-day -day shoes. First, I have these ones from Isabel Moran. I bought these in Paris for full price, so... I'm forgetting already how much they were. I think they're around between 250 and 300 pounds. They're also available in black and tan. Um, to be completely honest, I've not worn them as much as I thought I was going to. Um, and the next pair of shoes I'll show you is the reason why that I haven't worn them as much as I thought. But maybe I will more when summer comes because of the colour of them. They're really, really, really comfortable. Like, I didn't have to break these in at all. I've had no issue with wearing these for, like, all day long. Tons of walking. They're really comfortable. Um, and they're just really, like, cool, effortless shoes. I'm a big fan of a loafer. So the reason I haven't worn those as much as I'd hoped is because of these beloved shoes, which I, like, my love affair with these is nowhere near ending. These are my Gucci slingback loafers. Um, I get lots of comments about where I bought them from. I bought these in Singapore for full price. God, why can't I remember stuff? So I think that's around £450 for these. Um, I've never seen the slingback version since. You can get the men's version, and I believe the men's sizing start at UK 6. So if, like me, I'm a size 7, so I'm a big foot. If you're a big foot, you can get the men's version. They're almost identical. The horse bit is just a tiny bit bigger. Um, but they fit almost identically, because I also tried the men's on. Um, so yeah, I have never seen these since. I'm so glad I got them. These are the reason that those as well Morant loafers don't get worn. The best loafers ever. They're worth every single penny. I've worn them to the ground. They are so comfortable. The leather is so soft. They're like wearing slippers. They look amazing with everything. I love them, love them, love them. I would totally repurchase these in a different style. Like I keep looking at the ones without the sling back. You, know, you get the printed ones now. They're kind of disgusting but in a really good way. I would definitely repurchase these because I've worn them so much. Um, just a little tip for loafers that have leather soles. For these and these long right ones, I just put a rubber sole on them. Just go to a cobbler and ask them to put a really thin one on. It stops you from sliding and breaking your neck on tiled surfaces because the leather sole will do that to you. But yeah, if you, like these are everywhere at the moment. If you are tempted by Gucci loafers, any of the styles, I cannot recommend them enough. Like these are my favourite shoes. Probably one of my most worn shoes as well now. So, also we have here um, these amazing Aquazera pumps. I was gifted these through Farfetch and I've worn these so much. They, they're just really cool. They are really comfortable. I wasn't expecting them to be comfortable. They're ridiculously comfortable. I've worn these for like, you know, when you're on a city break, which is the thing where you do the ultimate amount of walking. I've worn these all day for those and they're absolutely fine. Um, they were suit. They were like my first girly shoe, and that's what made me really want to get those Gucci pumps because of how much I was loving these with the block heel and stuff. Um, I love the paint leather. I love the ties at the front. They're just really cool. They look great with everything, and I've worn them absolutely loads, and will continue to wear them loads. I plan to wear these all the way through summer because they look so great. Um, and yeah, because they're super comfy too. Okay, finally we have another sale purchase. That is these Celine sneakers. I got these in Selfridges in Manchester for £250 in the sale. These are so cool, like they are just really cool aren't they? I, I wear them a lot, I have to say they've sort of become slinger on us a little bit, you know, to wear if I'm nipping out and things like that. Um, but they are, well, they're either, they're funny these, they're either the most comfortable shoes ever or they shred my heels. I don't know what it is, like some days I'll wear them and I'll be absolutely fine. 
I wore them out the other week and I was so desperate to get back in and take them off because they were giving me the really bad blisters. So I'm not sure why that is. I need to maybe always wear them with socks or something. But they're just, yeah, they're just really good, simple day-to-day -day shoes. I really love the tab on the back, like little detailing like that makes a classic and simple shoe that you see everywhere look a little bit different and as well how high it comes up on the foot is really really nice as well oh that was one hell of a shoe whirlwind i felt like we just got through a lot very very quickly then um but yeah that is all of my kind of most recent shoe additions um links to everything is going to be in the description box for similar items if i can't find the exact ones but where i can i'm going to leave a link for an exact pair and I'll also put a bit of sizing information in there because I haven't gone through that here but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next one